Hello, David here, and the project for today is reviewing the Hans Grill Pizza Stone. If you've been following my channel for any appreciable amount of time, you know I like to make pizza, and all the pizzas I've been making have been Chicago-style deep dish pizzas, and I've been working on the pizza recipes from the Chicago area for the last 45 years or so, and lately I've been getting into thin crust pizzas, and my friend Mike Dinelli from Chicago said, I have to get a stone. I don't know why. He just said to get one. I suppose maybe it cooks evenly or something or cooks the pizza from the bottom up. I don't know. But what I like about the thin crust pizzas are that they're easy to make. They don't use as much ingredients. And they cook in 10 minutes or less. Whereas my deep dish pizzas have been taking 30 to 40 minutes to cook. So uh, even though I uh, haven't been making thin crust pizzas for myself, I do make those uh, frozen thin crust pizzas for my grandsons because they prefer that. And I enjoy that once in a while too because I never met a pizza that I didn't like. So this is a 15 inch diameter pizza stone. I've seen a lot 13 inch and I'm probably not going to be making a lot of huge size pizzas, but I thought having a larger stone would just help keep it, keep my oven clean because I think uh, when you throw that uh, the pizza on the stone, the stone's in the oven getting hot and you got to slide it on there. I just can foresee a lot of stuff falling out and getting my oven dirty and who likes a dirty oven? So this is something I got on Amazon. Let's see what's in the box. A manual. A register for a one year warranty. Here's a pizza slide made out of wood. And uh, if you note, it's kind of beveled on the edges to help slide it on and slide it off. What's the width of this thing? This is uh, 11 and 3 quarter inches wide. And it's about 10 inches to where the handle starts. And with the handle, it's 15 inches overall. Here's a piece of foam. You know, I could use this foam for my, uh, my uh, automobile buffer because the foam underneath the pad is uh, wearing out. That's going to be great. Okay, here's a stone. And it's got a, a working side and a bottom side. There's the bottom side. It's got those pads on it for a, a platform. Take a measurement of this. This is actually exactly 15 inches in diameter. Thickness is uh, 9 sixteenths of an inch. go over the directions. There's uh, if you're new to uh, pizza stones you've got to follow the directions. Uh, the stone goes in a cold oven on the lower or middle grating. Uh, don't put it on a sheet or directly on the bottom of the oven because uh, you need air beneath the stone to circulate. Uh, after you put the stone in the oven turn the oven on at its highest level and let it warm up for 30 to 40 minutes. Works best if you turn on both the top and bottom heat as well as a circulation fan if you have one of those convection ovens. Uh, during that time the pizza stone absorbs the heat, heats up slowly. Uh, later during the backing process the stone is losing this heat evenly. And while uh, that's warming up you can work on prepping your pizza. After the stone reaches the required temperature for use, uh, you can turn the uh, air circulation off and you can turn the heat down, but you can use whatever heat is in your recipe. I sprinkle the pizza stone and the pizza slide, also known as the pizza shovel, with flour or wheat grit. A lot of people use coarse. Uh, cornmeal 
And you do that right before you put the pizza on the stone. Makes it easy to get the pizza off the stone. Pizza takes about five minutes to finish cooking. Pizza time varies, of course, depending on how thick the dough is. After you finish, lift the pizza off the stone with the shovel, and then you can uh, cut the pizza with a pizza cutter. Uh, when you turn off the oven, turn off the oven with the stone in the oven and let the stone cool down slowly. Due to the good storage of heat in the stone, it can take a while and avoid exposing a hot stone to excessive temperature changes, such as a hot stone going to cold water. That'll crack your stone. Right, after the stone's cooled down, you could clean it. Uh, let the stone cool off completely before handling it. If you must handle it, use some oven mitts. Uh, but it's best to let it cool down uh, slowly. And I imagine if you drop it, it could crack too, because it is a stone. And when you place it on something, if you must pick it up when it's hot, put it on something that's heat resistant. Don't ruin your counter. And also, uh, if you have an oven that's already brought up to cooking temperature and you put a cold stone in there, that could crack your stone as well. Uh, you can use a stone brush or plastic spatula to get any excess pieces of burnt food off that may have stuck to the stone. Uh, scrape gently on the surface where the baked down food is. And uh, don't use a metal spatula or any metal tools because that will scratch your stone and probably increase the chances of more food sticking to the scratched areas. Never use soap on your pizza stone. Uh, the stone is very porous and it can absorb the soap and uh, put a soapy-like flavor in uh, uh, the food for your, your next uh, cooking session. And you may never get that soap out as well if you do use soap. So uh, just wipe your pizza stone with a damp cloth if you must. Now, as a last resort, you can soak your pizza stone in water. Burnt or baked on gunk may need to be soaked to soften the material for removal. In plain water, soak the pizza stone overnight and try scraping again. Just remember that when you're soaking it, the pizza stone will absorb all that water. So you have to let it dry completely for, for a week or more. Even if it looks dry, it might be holding a lot of water. And you have to let the stone dry completely before using it because the uh, stone could crack in the oven because it hasn't fully dried. Remember to store the stone at room temperature before you heat it again. Water gets stuck in the pores of the stone and reduces the integrity of the stone when it's reheated. And uh, allow your pizza stone one to two hours to dry before using it again. Well, that's a little different than what they say uh, letting it dry for a week. I suppose if you soak it in water, let it dry for a week. If you just rinse it with a wet towel, uh, then wait one or two hours. Don't put any oils of any kind on the stone. Olive oil or fat will cause your stone to smoke when you cook food on it. Some people think that this seasons the stone like a cast iron pan, but the store, the pores in the stone actually soak up the oil instead of creating a non-stick surface. To create a non-stick surface, use cornmeal on the top of your stone. Oils from food will naturally leach into the peach of stone, and that will do no harm. In fact, it will make it better to use. However, do not season it. Your stone will become naturally seasoned after cooking pizza or other foods on it. A well-used pizza stone typically has many dark discolored areas, does not look like a brand new slab right out of the box, but a pizza stone gets better over time. Do not try to scrub your pizza stone to make it look brand new, thinking that it looks old. It's, uh, it's actually supposed to, uh, actually it works better once it, uh, it's, uh, it gets used. Okay, I'm going to warm up the oven and the stone to 500 degrees, and while that's working, 
Oh, well, I'm going to warm it up for about 30 minutes, and while that's going on, I'm going to start working on my pizza. Votre toast, je peux vous le rendre, Seigneur, Seigneur, car avec les soldats, il est horreros, peuvent s'entendre, pour plaisir, pour plaisir, ils ont les combats. In seven minutes, it's ready to come out. I don't know why they call this a pizza slide, they should call it a pizza stuck. Oh boy. Put some pepper, crushed red peppers on it and some ground fennel. Let's give it a taste. That's good. It tastes better than it looks. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO. Labor, 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 lab